free holiday lunch with Cherokee and Jose. If you go around and bump into my cousin, my Auntie Rosita, she's over there. Auntie Rosita is one of the original managers of Kingsway. She's very instrumental in keeping the heritage brand alive for almost 86 years. We're celebrating, we're celebrating. That's something we want to do, keep the family intact, make it very simple, and make it heritage, uh, heritage brand for people to enjoy. Now, Chef Jean has been busy in the kitchen preparing all the culinary delights for other people to enjoy, and we would like to welcome our Kingsway family, our media family, and Chef Jean right now to enjoy this piece after Chef Jean does the demo with our products. Thank you very much, and here's Chef Jean. Hello everyone. Um, I decided on two dishes um, because I, I feel that we are not only people that eat Western food and we are also people that eat Asian food. And I want to show you the dexterity of Kingsway products. Um, I decided to make a uh, pabada, which is a... Uh, which is basically a uh, dish, a Spanish dish that is a favorite among Filipinos. Plus, it is also a uh, dressing in Asturian cooking. I also decided to make a Vietnamese banh mi for, for just to show you how the dexterity of all these products from Kingsway can come into your kitchen and come to your table. Uh, well, you saw me sharpening my knives. This is very important for me because pati ng kabuhayan ko to. Bili naman kayo ng kuchinyo ko. Tsaka yung mga libro ko, bili ko. Bili ang BMW. Well, anyway. These are, well, these are my what? These are my knives from Masplex. Kitchen Pro took three years to, took three years to launch this knife. This is the knife for Filipino cuisineros. That's why I'm so adamant about promoting this. Kasi hindi na kailangan bumili ng mga German na kuchinyo na napakamahal or mga Japanese na kuchinyo. Ito yun, Banlas Paga. Nagkaroon ako ng, nagkaroon ako ng kuchinyo yung maliit. Ninakaw. Sa kitchen. Nung guest chef ako. Gumanti na lang ako. Okay, so, um, we're going to do the pabada. Asturiana, and this is so easy. This is so very easy. Gigisa lang natin lahat. Okay? These are the beans. They have been simmering slowly, and dahil uso ngayon ang uso ngayon ang subid, di ba? Pwede mong isubid para melt in the mouth goodness. Pero, if it's too tough as subid, just a low flame, just cook it very slowly. Soak it first, of course, you have to soak the beans so that the water inside conducts on the temperature of your water. And you'll have one of the most fabulous buttery, look at this, look how tender, okay? Fabulously buttery beans that you can have. And we, we, we uh, simmered this for a long time. And now, we're going to be using, okay, I like the Canadian bacon, nice and smoky. So I cut it up into pieces. Then, Kingsway has some pork sausage, okay? Uh, very typical of what the Spanish use, okay? And they have a chorizo. Here is the chorizo. Of course, because it's a limited, uh, this is optional, it's a limited crowd, but uh, many people who want an authentic pabada, I need this, blood sausage, morcillas. But you don't really need to, especially if there are certain religious uh, prohibitions. You can just use the pork sausage and the, uh, and the uh, uh, chorizo. Then, you have to use an excellent Asturian, this is from Asturias. Uh, you have to use an authentic Asturian uh, uh, paprika. Okay? Uh, the other the other paprikas that are pretty good to use are also the Murcian paprika. Okay. 
we're we're not going to do uh, we're not going to do a demo na ano na to be all this na showbiz ito ka kay lalagay ko yun ito ka kay so hindi na natin hindi na natin to show this to okay so so the beans with the water what we do is we first get some uh, extra virgin olive oil. For special people, let's use the best. Let's use extra virgin olive oil. Actually, this is not the best. Uh, for, for, I don't like extra virgin. I like experience. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we get our garlic. Christmas, this is nice because you can cut up your ham and still create a really nice uh, restaurant quality dish. Okay, and it makes use of the uh, leftover hams or bacon. Okay, we'll sweat this out. several uses. Sotay lang natin lahat. Okay. And I'm going to put just a whiff of tomato. Not so much. Just a touch. Just to caramelize this dish. Okay. So I do 
station, okay, it's over here. This papaya salad station is typical of what you will get. It's called, they call it somtam thai. They use a fish sauce dressing and I'm going to use the uh, Kingsway chorizo macau and mixed with shrimp and papaya and a little pok pok. Ang tawag ng ano? Tawag ng ano? Ng thai yun? Pok pok. Yung sabi ko pok pok? Oh, okay, pok pok. Oh, okay. So, tapos, uh, we have Caesar salad. Then we have bocaditos de chorizo. This uh, is a staple sa tapas table. We put it in nice uh, puff pastry. And you have the uh, bocaditos. And then, we're going to have the Kingsway lasagna where we use the uh, where we use the uh, the Kingsway lasagna, we use again the pork, we use the pork sausage. Sorry of my life. Uh, we use the pork sausage and for ground meat, we use their burger. Eating plana, diba? Then cannellones, ham, liver, cream, delicious. This is a recipe of my family uh, in Sulipan, Pampanga. It's a staple on our table. When we have a party, we serve this. I hope you enjoy this. This is a 200-year-old recipe. Then we have paella sulipeña. We have two styles. We have the black. We have the saffron. Okay? Making use of kingsway ham and chorizo. Uh, don't blame me tomorrow after eating the black paella. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Find out. <laughs> have an extra roll. <laughs> okay, then we have uh, uh, Tocino del Cielo, which is a 200-year-old recipe for my family. It's all 200-year-old. So, um, and then we need pizza using the pepperoni of uh, Kingsway. And we made steam buns so that you can sandwich it. Homemade steam buns. Malambot na malambot siya. So that you can sandwich it on the Christmas glazed Chinese ham. Which is always <coughs> present on my table for December. Kingsway Chinese ham. Okay. No need to buy the imported. No need to buy the uh, ones in China. You, you, no need to give them more money so that they can take over our islands. <laughs> okay. 
Yes, I This is the Hampi. And it's beautiful and it is so flavorful. Medyo may light smoke. Ang sarap ng lasa ng ham. So, pasok natin to. And, bean. While we are stewing this, we are bracing this fabada. Okay. Lapit na to. Ayan o, lapit na o. Okay. While we are stewing this fabada, some more sillas. Let's make the bun. Okay, I'm putting in the blood sausage. And getting it. Getting it uh, ready. I'm going to put it in the So I'll put this aside and we are going to prepare our bami. Boy, that's a that's a real umami bomb. You know when you when you have uh, when you have good ham, you have you are filled with when you have good ham, you are filled with a lot of amino acids, which is the building block of flavor, no? And this building block of flavor is really um, something basta you use good ham for a recipe that calls for ham. Hindi ham haman. Wow, what a third ham haman. Okay, hang on. Hindi. Hindi ako magdademo ng pok pok. Magdademo ako ng bun. Ayun naman ako. So we continue simmering this. Okay, and we will demonstrate the bun. Sabi sa inyo eh, kompleto. Kitchen pro yan. Ano ko yan? Like ko yan. This is made out of bamboo. It's really a very good chopping board. Guess what? I've been using this one year now. Sa ano? Sa demos ko. Before I release anything, I really test it out. Okay, um, so we're waiting for, what uh, do we need for a really good bun? Okay, uh, first the bread. You need a very good type of baguette. Then, you have to make pati. This is your spread. Maraming banmi ngayon, maraming version. They put mayonnaise, they put all that. No. We'll, we'll just make the basic and authentic and really good na banmi. Okay, so you need pate. You will need you will need uh, some kingsway lunch of meat. This is so similar to the Vietnamese uh, feeling that the Vietnamese use. And then I used the burger and baked it and made it into meatballs. And again, and the main pork sausage natin, we uh, just regularly we just boiled it. Okay? So, lagi ko muna to dito. Hindi na lalagay dito. Okay, and we have some very beautiful herbs. Cafe Isabel is um, it's a garden to table restaurant, so we have some herbs here that came from our garden. 
and I am going to chop this. This is uh, Vietnamese meat. Okay, we have uh, we have cilantro. Okay, we have cilantro, and we have saw coriander. Okay, and we will just chop this all to make a flavorful bunny. We don't want a fine cut. We don't want a fine chop. We want a rough cut so that it stays on the bread. It stays on the bread and it stays on the bread, all that, okay? Um, some vegetables. The next thing that it has is has a new vegetable. Okay. I'll show you how to make the vegetables, but first let's get the bandy ready and prepared. What you want to do is just use the bread as your holder for your different uh, different preserved meats. So you need to smear this whole bread with pate. This pate is made out of chicken liver. Okay, you can make other types of pate. You can make, a, make it out of pork liver. Okay, we put our pork sausage. So this is carrots, cucumber, radish, sintamas, okay, and all you have to do is put sugar, salt, and pepper. 
Pinupubahan mo yung lens ng flash. Okay, this is patis and a little... Sabog sabog yung shots. Okay. The only addition of the Vietnamese people is actually patis, water, and uh, lemon juice for the vinegar. So you make a sweet, sour tea, and this is what is going to come out. There. Okay, so we have already spread our bunny with. Uh, We've already spread our bunny with uh, pate, and now we are putting some sriracha hot sauce to accent the flavor of our meat. So I come in basic meats, and you gotta have really good meat, so that's very important. So lalagyan natin ng makachara, or Vietnamese pickle. So, like I said, here's how to make the achara. You get some lemon juice. Get some patties, and you get some sugar and water. So this will last, uh, kind of overnight. Pwede na to, no? Kung ganito kanipis, some of the Vietnamese use thicker cuts. It's all really up to you. I like to use thinner cuts because you thin cuts nalalaglag pag kinakain mo. Okay? And finally, remember what I cut up? This is... Tapusin ko lang muna itong ating... We need, okay? Ito, nagamit na natin yung pickled veggies. Gamit na natin yung pickled veggies. And now we have to make the nook 
chan sauce. What is the nook chan sauce? This is the basic sauce of the Vietnamese. So you need some lemon, some fish sauce. Okay. I need more sugar. Okay, we put a little water. And I'm going to cut out. And you have a true blue authentic bun. There you go. Are you all hungry now? Because the pabada is ready. And Bread. the pabada is already ready. And we can put that on our cheating dish now. <coughs> Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.